The woman breaking barriers all the way to space, leading the NASA team behind the high-tech equipment, allowing the first African-American woman to blast off, and now writing a book about it for the next generation of young scientists. Every day I'd be like, proud to be an American. <laughs> Every time I see a takeoff, I promise, I felt so proud. <laughs> Being involved in sending people to space is one of the most rewarding careers you can have. Working with the space folk, never thought in a million years. I was so, so excited. I lost both my parents at a very early age, so I had to grow up overnight and take on a lot of responsibilities that I'd never had to do. My senior year in high school, Sergeant Bud Rucker from the Air Force Recruiting Station came to speak to my high school class. I went down and enlisted on my birthday. Took the test that set me up for my next job, which was aerospace physiology. The aerospace physiology career was working with the altitude chamber, dive chamber, and the hyperbaric chamber. After I left the Air Force, I struggled like I'm sure quite a few veterans probably do. My friend, Raulo Villalobos, was in the Air Force with me. And he was like, Sharon, there's an immediate opening here doing the same thing we did in the Air Force. I drove from California to Texas. It got here, and boy, it was amazing ever since. People don't realize there's so many hands behind the scenes that make these astronauts great. My career being a spacesuit technician is what I started off as in the crew escape equipment department. Suiting up Mae Jemison was one of the top moments of my career. It was such a special moment because we had our first black woman going into space. I was the first black space shuttle crew escape equipment technician, the first black crew chief, and the first woman crew chief. And during that time, we only had enough women in our department one time to have an all-female suit tech crew. I got to lead that crew. Hidden Figures prompted me to tell my story because I had never heard of those women, and I had been working with the space program 22 years. I started wondering, I'm like, wonder how many people don't know what I did. These glove disconnect right here, it's like a little, a male and female type situation. You put it in and twist it to lock it. My book, Suit Up for Launch with Shay, I wanted people to always know about the suit, to make sure that people know about all the different background jobs besides being an astronaut or a rocket scientist. They can manually pull the tab and inflate it if it didn't work for some reason, but we know it would work because I worked on it, so. To have two amazing careers in my life, it's just unreal, especially for a little black girl from Moss Point, Mississippi. <laughs> I just want you to know, kids that may be in a similar situation that I was in, you know, you can still do great things. So go out and make history. Bravo, yes. it's a lot of great things that come out of Mississippi. Yes, awesome. her energy, you can just feel it It's contagious, the story. isn't it? Yes. Yeah, good for her. Well, Suda for Launch with Shay is available right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.